worker or someone close to you. I don't think Kenny is allowed to act like this when Clem is the one holding Look, it together. It's baloney. I'm with you. you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I'm like I know 10. You see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's Still the homie. Situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You couldn't. She sees me as her sister, that's why. Your sister must have been younger. Oh, what do I say? If I say I always wanted a sister, she may... I don't want her to get angry because she could be like, you're not replacing the memories of my sister. But at the same time, there's an opportunity for her to see it as I can make this bond with somebody else. But she's already set it up so that she doesn't trust anyone anyways. So I don't. I feel like it might be useless. So I wonder if it's better to get an understanding of what happened to her sister instead of saying that. I don't know. If I say that, it's going to make an issue with the group because people aren't exactly on the same page yet. What, what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Is she crazy? Just Jesus. Friends. <sighs> All right. Jackpot. A car? But these walkers got some good stuff. Wait. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That's kind of dark, man. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Two bullets. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. It's kind of terrifying that the story is getting to a point where we're on our... It's trying to teach us to be independent and on our own. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. 
It's it's honestly kind of weird. I think the game is trying to set us up for future seasons where we're on our own or something. A gun? Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Yes. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It's never easy, but I don't really know how it's supposed to be. That's it. Something An doesn't seem right Those here. Are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. Can never be too sure with these things. Here, Makes sense. I would do the same thing to be honest. I would have I would always make sure to, to lop the head off or something. That's just the most logical thing to do. I just hope it's not one of our crewmates. Glasses. These glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. I don't want to yell Sarah's name Glenn, because walkers are going to come to us, say, right? But... Like, there's a reason why they're fresh and dead, no? Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Right? Fresh and like dead an is there. terrifying. Oh, sh... Oh, no. Ben! It's Nick. Oh my god, I called him Ben. Look, he got he shot right. in the shoulder. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. Can we get the arm off first? Poor guy. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. Because it sucks. Give me a cool. sharper one. Here, use this. Yeah. There's not enough surface area, though. Can I really trust an Very ice effective. pick? We can do this. She seems crazy, not gonna lie. But I feel like you kind of need crazy at this point. Not like Carver crazy, but like Survivor crazy. Holy jeebies. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. How do we find them? Start by getting a better look. I was gonna say we barge in. How about you get the close one and I'll have the fence to get the other? Got it. Go for it. In the head. Nice work. Headshot him. Yeah, because I'm the now best. Watch this. Dude, she's yeah, enjoying this. She's enjoying this. This is kind of messed up, don't you think? Take out the knees first. Then, put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. I swear she's enjoying right, this. This is kind of messed up. What we've got on deck. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Yeah, especially because there's a whole army of them. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Yeah, let's make a uh, car alarm. A car, right? Can we run them over with the car? Just push the car? Let's see if we can find anything over there. Uh -huh. 
Oh my god. Oh god. Action prompt. I got this, I got this, I got this. I'm an assassin, man. I'm an elite assassin. Screwdriver connoisseur. Oh, she needs help. Help her. In the head. Mm. You did anything. Nice trick, huh? Yeah, well played. Thanks for teaching me a new skill. Kinda messed up. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? Yelling. I got you covered. Yeah, it does look pretty strong. Hmm, I don't want to... I think the car might be the best one. Right? Set off the alarm. No keys. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Alright, looks like a TV really is the bee's knees. We can't... No keys back here. I I guess the TV is the best option. It's the one that's gonna keep going. No. How do? Where are the keys? Do we gotta search the dead guys? You got any keys, buddy? What are you thinking? We need keys. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Oh, I was thinking keys, but that works too. He's probably still alive. Let's be realistic here. Headbutt. We got a jet, though. Come on. Is that behind? Anything? Come on. Wait, how do you get off of it? We gotta move it. Try something else. Uh, the flint. Don't you have the flint? You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Hurry! This is such a good idea. You broke the door. Help me block this. Hurry! I honestly would have thought talking to people and telling them that we're here was better, but okay. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? I thought you were bitten. Made a run for it. Looking for help. He, you I, telling me he got I stuck in a fence and died? He was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. He got stuck in a I fence and died? The door. Luke, are you alright? Uh, I'm walking. Can't do much else though. Sarah, she's another story. Yeah, her dad's dead. She's freaking out. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. She saw her dad die. She's probably mentally broken, See, like when Luffy saw Ace just die. Like I told you that they're okay. 
Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. You have her glasses. Listen, Hand her the glasses. I, uh, they're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Abandon. Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Her glasses. It's the least bit of normal C that she has. We're friends. Hi. No! <laughs> Shit. PTSD. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. Climb up. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Yeah, watch her turn into some secret assassin, just murderous rage. She can just destroy everyone. Like something just triggered in her brain, like Attack on Get Titan. Get to the skylight, now! Because of level. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Don't tell me I gotta make a choice. Clem, see what you can find. All right, there's clearly a Can box. Can we use this? It's not big enough. A couch? A couch? A couch? Come on, surely there's a... The fridge! Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. The shelf? Furniture? Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. It's what? the only thing holding the... Oh, shit. It's gonna be a sprint. Okay, ready? On three. One, two... Three. Oh god, this is bad. This is so bad. We'll guarantee something's gonna attack him through the window. It's gonna be happening right now. I already know it. My hands are really bad. Oh Jesus Christ. Clem, Clem help her! Help Jay. Okay. Okay, go, go! Get keep pushing! Go! Alright, we got this, we got this. Eight, right? Eight? Eight? Just keep mashing eight. Look at her, she's an assassin. She can handle all of them, right? Yeah, that's how you do it. Please tell me you can make it. It's through. <coughs> Luke, you first. We need you up top. Get up. Get up, injured fool. Uh, uh, okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, Sarah, let's go. We have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Get now, up. No, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. I have to make the choice? I can't, I can't, I can't! Daddy! Sarah, think about what you're doing. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh, move! <laughs> Clementine! Grab her! Don't tell me Jane gets hurt. I will lose it if I lose Jane for her. Get up. Oh, we just barely made it. 
We gotta go. Sarah. Come on. I'm glad the slap worked. Although I was just gonna just punch her. <laughs> just <laughs> I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. The fact that I could have left her. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. She Look, abandoned just, her sister. I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. You didn't try hard enough. Uh-oh. Why is he giving me the stink eye? I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jesus. Jumped to the next building over by myself. Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time, but I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. How do you know that? She didn't say Sarah, that. You're assuming that to comfort yourself. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. I hope Kenny hasn't shot up the place already. Look at that. There's like a witch's tower in the background. Where the hell is Kenny? Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? You can hold it together. That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. Uh-oh. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? No. Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. I think maybe that could be the will for Where him to be he? strong for the child. He 
went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> hopefully I have to slap... Uh, hopefully I can slap him too. If I can slap him, that's for the best. Slapping Sarah got her going. Now I just need to slap Kenny. I'm going to slap him right in the eyeball. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. I'm gonna let him talk. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Do I say Rebecca needs help? Do I be stern with him? and tell him what he needs to hear. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Huh? We should see what's going on. That's the baby, isn't it? When a man needs to do a job, he gets it done. Holy Jesus. Are you okay? How does it feel? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. Let's go to the roof. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. We're probably gonna have to scout it. What's wrong with you? The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem... I know what? it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Who's they? Why is okay. it giving me the We're stink eye? Blankets, clean water, disinfect. Okay, this is a problem because it sounds like whoever I don't go with is screwed. I feel like Sarah needs to be left alone, right? Mike and Jane are completely capable because not they've already been mercenaries. I think Jane is the logical choice, right? 
sorry, Bonnie and Mike have done it already. They've they've been mercenaries or whatever. They know they can take care of themselves. I think I should go with Jane. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. I got it. Alright, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. What is this place? Jesus. Alright, look at this. I love how we just have a handful of bullets. It's like the plan is to just throw them at the enemy really fast. Oh, she's on her own. Yeah, well... We are the closest thing she has to a sister right now. Oh, hey. I knew you'd be here. Well, yeah. I told you I was coming here. Anyways. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. I got your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. See? It was a good idea to go with her. Whether she's... She's not being honest with herself. Obviously, obviously she prefers... Uh, partner? Don't let it get Obviously, she head. prefers companionship. Everyone needs a friend. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Oh, cannons. Check this out. You're going to use locked, the nail file? Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, nail filer? Maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know... Uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Bust the mechanism. So, let's see. What do we got? Let's use the cannon. Yeah. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. This will be useful just to look what's out there. Maybe we see danger lurking. I guess it's broken. Ah, boo! I was gonna say it would be interesting to see something dangerous. You see a wave of them coming our way. Garbage. Garbage. Find anything? No, not even trash. Oh, that's it? There's nothing else? Crap. Heavy hand, huh? We can't just roll this over it? No. Does this one work? Oh, it does work. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her Who's position. that guy? Keep it in mind. Though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. He's her. Who knows if he has friends nearby? Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Wait, safe. Hide now. Maybe he even has a key. That'd be amazing. Forget breaking something. He just gets it open. Look at that. His backpack.
Is he throwing stuff out? You just want to wait it out, right? I see his foot down there. He's Russian. I'm just a kid. Please don't hurt me. Who are you? I don't trust him with that gun. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave I him don't alone. Don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Watch there be a head or something. No, I have no more guns. I swear to you. Oh Anything? wow, convenient medicine. Wow. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older oh. sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No, I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, oh, crap. you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine. Oh, Lord, no, no. She is not wrong, right? Jane is not wrong whatsoever. Our group is like 50% HP right now. This medicine would be perfect for healing up our crew. It's like when your crew comes back in XCOM, but I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Like, obviously... <laughs> Wait a minute, how is this any different from the from the from the station wagon? I, I still took the stuff anyways. I need to look after my crew. I don't know who Arvo is or his crew. Last time we helped someone, we got burned. It was in Bonnie. But we'll, we'll see what the prompts are. We need people that people are stuff. suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must we believe. Can I believe him? This is bad. I don't know what to do. I feel like I have to look after the greater good of my own people right now. As horrible as that sounds. Remember, Kenny's eye is in bad shape. I need to make sure Kenny's okay. I need to make sure that Rebecca is okay after she gives birth. I know that, um, uh, oh my God, I forgot everybody's name. Luke, Luke is uh, really badly injured. I think I'm gonna keep the bag. I'm keeping it. Give a fucking word about your six. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will fish. You hadn't done this. Don't kill him. <laughs> don't kill him. Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I feel bad. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. He said sister. That hurts her. Remember, Gilbert she had a sick sister. And bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Yeah, locked gate. It's almost perfect.
Where the hell did Arvo go? I need to look after my people, right? Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation deck? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still it's up It's getting dark. Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Maybe. I don't want to say I like her. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. Whoa, what? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that that baby, all the horror, hadn't gotten to you yet. What the hell? But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you then. I need that was my honest reaction. It did feel I, I yeah, was a little bit uncomfortable with that I one. Will, uh, see you back there. But I didn't realize Luke would be like Jesus Christ. That's a bit much. I didn't realize he would say that. I honestly, I'm gonna be realistic here. I thought Clem was kind of enjoying it. She was just looking at it like, yeah, you, you deserve that. So I don't know. I just feel bad about Arvo. I didn't mean to.